Okay, my two second break is over. And we're gonna look at a couple more. Here is a um, pre-operation procedure. Purpose of pre-operations for bull pack room uh, procedure is to establish the guidelines for proper cleanliness and readiness for all of the processing areas before commencing operations inside a bull pack room. So before you start a run, you go through these steps. It's the same idea as an airplane pilot. I don't care how many years you've been doing it. You sit down and you go through your checklist. You check your flaps, you check your fuel tank, you check your everything one by one by one to make sure all things are a go. And that's all this is. It's a very simplistic version of that. Talks about the scope, looking for um, equipment being free of debris, proper sanitation gloves in the areas, et cetera. And it walks you through the procedure. I want you to read this and think about this. Uh, there's quaternary levels at 400 ppm. Quaternary is a disinfectant material that you can dip your shoes in, you can dip your gloves in, and it's all over various plants. And this quaternary is just a material that you can use to disinfect uh, your gloves, disinfect your shoes as you walk into an area and it prevents cross-contamination from one area to another. Um, so it talks about all of these safety, cleanliness, sanitation levels, um, talks about temperature, make sure that the room temperature is where it's supposed to be. Um, now WIP, is a specific product line. So it has a slightly cooler temperature requirement for that customer for that product line. Um, but again, fairly straightforward, fairly simple types of procedures. What about exposed product cleanup? purpose of Hartnell Fresh Foods exposed product cleanup procedure is to establish the guidelines for the cleanup and removal of exposed field packed or finished products from the facility. This procedure is necessary to ensure that the proper care is placed to prevent cross contamination to other products. Because when you're bringing stuff into the loading dock, this is stuff from out in the wild, <laughs> outside where it can be contaminated and you don't know if that particular bin, pallet, case, whatever you're bringing in the back door, whether it's loaded with E. coli or listeria or some other dangerous contaminant um, or something that could be harmful to the product itself, not people. And so you need to be sure that you bring it in into an area that is not going to allow cross-contamination and inspect it. The procedure outlines the requirements for Hartnell Fresh Foods employees to clean and remove exposed field packed or finished products from the facility, the use of protective gloves to prevent contamination of work, gloves, uh, the use of proper work tools to assist in cleanup efforts, and the proper disposal, disposal of exposed products. So um, again, please read this. You're going through uh, the SKU is the barcode, just so you know. Um, it could be a QR code. Uh, in some areas, it could be an RFID tag, radio frequency identification tag. Um, there are a number of tools that can be used, but in this case, it's a SKU, which is a combination of barcode and a number. 
the barcode that can be read by a barcode reader very quickly and the associated number, which can be manually typed in if there's damage to the barcode or the reader is just not picking it up or for some reason you just need to do it manually. Um, so again, it talks about all kinds of different details. I don't remember in here uh, if they included, no, they, I don't think they included color coding in this. I know in one of the uh, cleanup procedures, we included color coding. So if there's any damaged, broken or contaminated product, you only clean it up using the, and I can't remember the color, I think it was red shovels and dust pans and brooms. They were all painted bright red. They were the contaminated ones, um, et cetera. We had special colors for the bathroom, for clean that you could use on food. So if I'm shoveling uh, fresh shredded cabbage from a bin into the line to kind of mix a cabbage coleslaw salad or something, you would have white shovels, which are the clean ones, food safe, food clean, never touch the floor. They're only for using to transfer edible food product, clean food product. So anyway, color coding could be included in this, but uh, I don't think this one has that um, detail. 